Exactly one month ago guys, I made a video about Roblox FPS Unlocker. Now, I wasn't really showing you guys how to install it or set it up. I was basically talking about a massive issue with it. For some strange reason, everyone's computers was detecting Roblox FPS Unlocker as a virus. It was so strange, our computers just straight up thought it was malware trying to infect our systems, when in reality it wasn't, but a lot of us couldn't really download it or even open it because our computers would just automatically remove it. So yeah, here's my video from last time. I was showing you guys my Windows Defender and when I actually went onto Windows Defender to take a look at the security dashboard, you can see on my protection history, it kept on deleting FPS Unlocker. Let me just pause this here and read what it says. So it said it's a hack tool, Win32 game hack. So clearly it thought it was some kind of thing trying to hack my Roblox or ruin my computer, but it was really annoying because without FPS Unlocker, I'm sure we all know Roblox is very laggy and sometimes it can have like massive FPS drops for no reason. So you know, you could be playing at a stable 60 FPS, then all of a sudden it could go down to 30 or 25, you might notice the dip. And it was just irritating. A lot of us really need FPS unlocker if we want to play Roblox smoothly without any issues and glitches. Now the issue is guys, I haven't used Roblox FPS unlocker in over a month. The last update was back in November of last year. And to be honest, I really don't want to turn my Windows Defender off. That was like the fix around this to disable your Windows Defender then install it. But I like to have Windows Defender on because I don't want to accidentally download anything sketchy off the internet and I don't want my whole computer to be infected by some virus. So I keep my antivirus on at all times. So that pretty much means guys whenever I try and download this it comes up here on my downloads list saying FPS unlocker couldn't download virus detected and yeah I was kind of stuck. For a whole month guys I haven't had smooth FPS on my Roblox games. Well luckily guys that is about to change because there is now a new method to unlocking FPS on Roblox. Yes, this unlocks your frames to basically unlimited. So if you have a decent computer that can play Roblox at above 60 FPS, it will automatically unlock itself and this is incredibly useful. So shout out to my username's this. I'm using the info he gave me to create this video. He said it's possible to unlock Roblox FPS using nothing but a JSON file. Do this at your own risk. That's why I'm not providing the steps on how to do it right now. So the reason reason my username doesn't want to show people how to do it is because he was suspicious that maybe you could get banned on Roblox. But as most of us know, Roblox do allow FPS unlockers. So yeah, you're not going to get banned for unlocking your FPS. If that happened, I think it would be time to quit Roblox because that's just ridiculous. No game ever should ban you for unlocking your frames per second. That's just silly stuff. But let me show you guys how to set this up. So this is the link that username provided me with and I've never seen this before. I think it's something fairly new. It's called Roblox Client Optimizer. Now what it does is sort of configure and optimize Roblox client files to pretty much improve your whole Roblox experience. It's got like a whole list here. So unlocks the FPS, optimizes catching, graphics, textures, increases user privacy. There is like a lot of really interesting stuff here. Now what these guys did at RCO is they combined this whole sort of install file. However, I'm not going to download this in the video. If you guys want to download it and go through the setup, you can click on this and it will simply provide you with like a setup file. I'm going to do it the code way where you manually install it yourself because Windows Defender is a bit funny. Whenever I try and install stuff like this, it always just ends up deleting it. Yeah, they said here sometimes there's problems where your antivirus will just detect it and try and restrict it or delete it. So if you don't want to run into that issue, you should be able to manually install it. This is exactly what username did. He created his own client app settings.json file. And you see all of this text here. This is basically what enables your FPS to maximum. I think somewhere there should be an FPS thing. Let me try and find it. So if I just search for FPS here, there you go. So they've set it as this number, which yeah, unless you've got a NASA supercomputer, I don't think your PC is going to get higher than this. So that should be fine. I mean, you could edit it if you wanted to, but that's a big number. I don't even know what number that is, but yeah, that's a lot of FPS. So what we're going to do guys is we are going to copy all of this. You just want to highlight it, go all the way down, all the way to the end of this long section of text. Don't worry, we have sort of gone over it. We do know it's safe. We're going to right click this and then go on copy. Here's my FPS unlocker from last time. I guess I don't really need that anymore. What you want to do guys is go to the Roblox player. You want to right click on the icon and you want to select this option right here. Open file location. Now guys, it should be looking something like this. If you don't have the app on your desktop, you can also do this using the search button. So you could also search for Roblox in here if you wanted to. Anyway, what we're going to do here guys, we're going to go on right click. We are going to go on new and we need to click on folder. You must have like a 
administrative privileges on your computer, but I'm sure you guys have that already. So this folder, we need to rename it. We're gonna call this client settings. Client settings, exactly like that, and just click anywhere on the screen, click off of that. Now we're gonna go into the folder in a second. First of all, we just need to create a text file. Now what I would recommend doing, guys, is just going on view at the top. If you just go and click on options, and then if you click on view again, make sure this option is disabled. You see where it says hide extensions for known file types? Turn that off, because we do need to rename our text file. So yeah, just apply an okay once you've done that. And yeah, on the desktop, let's go and create our own file. So right click and new. We need to choose a text document. Just click off of it for now, double click to open it. And remember guys, when we copied all that code, well yeah, you wanna right click and paste it in here. There you go, all of that code. If you guys wanna go through it yourself and just check it's okay, you can do. Like I said, username, he's good at code. He went over it. I had a quick look myself and I couldn't find anything dodgy. So, you know, it should be fine. It's all official Roblox stuff. So we're just gonna go on file. We're gonna go on save. Now we need to rename this text file to clientappsettings.json. So you can copy this name if you want to, or you can type it out yourself. It doesn't matter. So let's just go and do this. Let's just right click the entire thing. Then you're just gonna go to rename. Then you're gonna do control V. I'll make sure you highlight the .txt at the end. That's what we enabled that option for. So do control V to paste it in, press enter. It's gonna give you a warning saying if you change it, it might become unusable, but it's still usable. So we're just gonna click on yes for okay. And so there you go. We've now got our custom file. Let's right click and copy this. And guess what? It goes in the client settings folder. So let's go and right click. Let's just go and paste that in. You need to be an administrator. So make sure you own your own PC. Click on continue. And there we are. We should now have unlocked FPS in Roblox. I decided to join a quick game of Arsenal because this game does have like an inbuilt FPS counter. I just want to open up the Roblox settings and just show you guys something. If I go into the settings gear icon, look at this. My graphics quality now has like a ton of bars, like 20 bars or something. So that's kind of crazy. You can put it all the way down and that's going to look mad or you can have it all the way up. So yeah, I don't know if this adds anything extra. That's kind of interesting. I think there's like a few other options they've added in here as well. But yeah, that's cool for sure. So let's go and resume. If I deploy, I think my FPS is probably going to be on 100 and something. So normally it'd be stuck on 60, but as you guys can see at the top there, what's that like 100 first? I don't know. I can't really tell. It's changing too fast, but it's definitely over 100. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, finally, this feels so smooth. Honestly, guys, for the longest time I was playing Roblox and it was just a lagging mess. Literally, my FPS would be on like 50 for no reason. And it was driving me nuts. You know, I really missed using FPS on Ocker. but a big shout out to those guys over on GitHub that built this thing. Like I said, you can use their installer if you want to, but I would rather make it myself because my PC always deletes stuff that I download. So there we have it. I think this is awesome. Now the only downside to installing it yourself is you know Roblox kind of like updates itself every Wednesday I believe. Well when Roblox updates itself it might automatically remove this file. So maybe keep a backup of the file on your desktop so you can just drag and drop it across every time. That's probably a good thing to note. Before I end this video guys there is just one very quick simple trick that I would like to show you. A lot of you guys are probably going to find this useful if you press shift and f5 on your keyboard so let me do it now shift and an f5 it's going to give you a little menu quite a lot of the information on the menu is missing but if you look on fps at the top it's going to give you your fps so this is cool because it works in any roblox game so as you can see i'm on like 200 fps especially if i look at the sky it goes to like 200 so yeah it's kind of cool i just thought i would show you guys this it's a very nice trick and yeah that's basically it oh yeah you press shift and f5 to close it as well that's probably something you should know but other than that that is how you set up the new Roblox FPS on Ocker. It's very simple. Your PC won't delete it. It's incredibly safe. And yeah, there we are.